feel that breath. Let's really relax our minds. Softly now, just kind of tuck your chin. So you're rolling towards the top of the head here easy. And you're kind of bringing your hips forward, tucking your head underneath. Stretch the back of your neck a little. Don't force it, just do as best you can. Take five breaths, open it up. Ground your forearms, let the back of the neck soften. Good, come back out of it again. Sink back into your heels, walk your hands out a little further. As you come back forward this time, let's softly kind of rotate the head to the right and roll towards that right ear slowly and softly. Do not try in any way to snap your neck. Soft, easy, lengthen it right here. Again, back soft and easy. Unwind it. Big breath, ujjayi breath. As we let her go, turn your head the other way. Start rotating again the other side, softening this side of the neck. Try to stay high in your shoulder blades here. Taking your shoulders down towards the earth. Nice. Back down, easy does it. Sit still. Now let's softly kind of bring our chin up and sit in a little box here on the forearm, excuse me, on the shins and hands. And take out of our mind any fear whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of sink back here, put our elbows on the ground and wrap our elbows with both hands so that that's the width our arms are. So you're gonna softly take your hands all the way around your elbows now. And then after you take your hands around the elbows, open your hands back out front here, slow. Fold them together, keeping your elbows where they are. A nice little place for your head to cuddle up, right in here. Softly, with just the forward part of your head on the floor, lightly place her down there and walk in, easy goes. Straightening your legs, coming as high as you can. Now for those of you that have never done this before, you take your time, you make sure there's nothing around you, you do not worry about falling down. If you fall down in an inversion, remember you get back up on your feet here. I mean, you land on your feet, so there's nothing to fear. So what we're gonna do here, first of all, is take the right leg to the sky, easy. And if you can bring that left leg comfortably to the sky with it, that's what you'll do. And get strong and bring it up. And if you can't, you'll just take it a little higher at this moment, maybe just get that left foot off the ground just a little bit. Maybe as your forearms get strong to the ground and you can really concentrate on energy flowing, feel the energy. Even if your practice is young, you could stand upside down. Nice and easy, feel that fun. Come back down, rest again. Take it easy. Explore with a different way to go up and down. Go ahead, wrap your hands again. Be nice and easy here. Clear your mind, put your head back. Walk in a little closer. Maybe you're at a comfort state right now that you can actually lift yourself up with both legs at the same time. Maybe not. Maybe you're just at the point where you can get one leg into the sky and stretch through it and just feel a little upside down. Well, if you're at that state, you'll put this one down and you'll softly take the other one to the sky and lift her and stretch through her. If you can cup and up and down now, let's see if while you're here, whether all the way upside down or not, maybe you can bring your feet to the mat together and then back up to the sky, easy, slow. Trying sort of in a pike position to bring your legs down. How about together? Nice. How about we spread them wide if you wanna play around? How about if we twist left or right? Whatever. And back again. If you do twist left and right, make sure you twist right and left as well. Reverse it around. If you're resting here, you're resting. If you're practicing at any point in your practice, honestly, you are practicing yoga. If you are competing in your mind or in any way disturbed with the fact that someone can stand on their head and someone can't, or if you're afraid to stand upside down, you're not practicing yoga. So even if it's your first time, who knows? Belly in, lift, feel, trust. Lift those belly muscles. Lift those hips. You might not get upside down the first time you try, but you'll release your fear. Come out of it, rest, child pose. Sit still, easy, lay down. Be good about it. We're gonna go ahead and try another way to stand upside down now. Easy does it. 
stretch it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put our forearms to the mat softly with the thumbs grounding inward and the chest open. Just kind of roll your chest towards the sky. Then round your back, allowing it, press those thumbs, just round that back towards the sky here. Feel good about it. Inhale, up and out. Way up and out. Exhale, roll the spine one more time. The next time we lift the chin and chest, let's ground the heels and walk in slow into a dolphin pose. And if past a dolphin pose as you walk through, you can ground it and feel your way lifting. Then the